Nothing a nine-year-old could do. Maybe he was drunk. Maybe he thought I was mommy. Or maybe it is just that he is sick mentally. Time went on, I started growing up. At first, I thought it was a nightmare. After two years of denial, I was so sure. Finally, I was 12 years old, going on to 13. Had a secret I kept to myself. Mommy was working two jobs to support us three. Maybe that's why she never suspected. That's why she never suspected. She thought peeing on myself at 10 years old was just normal. She didn't, she didn't know I was hurting, craving for the love and attention I never got. Years went on and finally had the courage to tell somebody. Cops got involved and I didn't want mommy to find out. She, cried, she has cried enough being kicked out with three girls. Was school time mom, lagged up Lagged on high school education when she got pregnant with me. Just thinking about, just thinking about it stress, is stressing me out. She ended up finding out being, the same, being in the same room as me, the cops and my counselor. It was hard to describe to the cops how he did it. As I saw tears, tears after tears rolling down her face, I was scared to say anything at all. Will she still love me? Will she be upset? Man, what was the what is what is she okay? What is she feeling? It's all I thought about. As I held the baby doll showing a demo how it happened, all I saw was she covered her face in, with tissues. That was long time long time ago though. Now I am 17, hard worker in school and scared. Scared to get closer or attached to anyone. Scared to get hurt again. Maybe that's why my two relationships have failed. I need to get, I need to go back to therapy. Stop being so mean, but I can't let go. The man I trusted to be my bodyguard has invaded my privacy, crushed my trust, my trust, but most of all damaged me. Now I am broken, trying to be fixed. It is just hard. But without my mom being my strength and my rock, maybe I would have continued to cut myself, continue to, dr to do drugs and alcohol to forget. But I stopped all that to show, to show him what he is missing out. I was molested, not by a relative, not, nor a stranger, but my daddy. It hurts to see girls, my friends, talk about their dads. How amazing they are and me. Well, I just brag about my mom being my dad, an un undocumented dad, supporting three girls on her own. It hurts, keep hurting, tired of being hurt. 